the the mic. The mic is fine. Yeah. No, this it's is fine. Fine. maybe time for a retweet from my yeah. side. Yes, I do. Of course, uh, I have a connection directly to Twitter database. Yes, now, oh, you, now you're coming through live and clear, even louder than me. All right, so I'm here with Alvaro <laughs> at JCreed, <laughs> and we were just heckling <coughs> slash talking about um, relational databases, which is one of the hot topics here at JCreed. I think Kirk, Kirk our, our, our official heckler over there, Kirk Pepperdine, wants to say something. What do you want to say, no, Kirk? I don't want to say anything except for you can just... You know, we don't need your... You're, you're, not, you're not on, Kirk. I'm not on. You're not on. That's probably a good thing. So we don't, <laughs> we don't need your, your kind around here, your foreign key relationships, right? <laughs> Our object models are completely xenophobic, right? We just don't like any... So, so it's the performance guru. All right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, th there's going to be, by the way, a session, Kirk, you should attend. I'm going to present about running NoSQL on SQL. Yeah. It turns out to be way better than running NoSQL on NoSQL. So you're taking advantage of like existing investments in SQL databases? Absolutely. And Don't reinvent the wheel. Yeah. Yeah. So every NoSQL database is trying to reinvent how to do concurrency, durability, yeah. and they're, of course, failing to do it properly well. Whereas relational database got that well done decades ago. So don't reinvent the wheel. Yeah, it's well they, okay. certainly, they certainly had a lot of investment in the past 20, 20 30 years. Yeah, 20, 30 years. Yeah. Um, Close so, to 30. So Kirk, Kirk wants to... You're, you're poking a bear right now, right? <laughs> I realize that. You might wake up soon. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kirk. Yeah. Yeah, so speaking of poking a bear, so um, have, have any of the... I hear lots of big data people yeah. here, and they're, they're attacking you in the beaches and at the lunch table have you have you um suffered any any um injuries <laughs> <laughs> well I'm, I'm a tough guy i'm not uh, very tall but i can defend myself nice. and so far i've uh, been able to protect my my uh, my area protect your philosophy yeah absolutely very nice absolutely. yeah then the conversations have actually ended in something conclusive so you must be succeeding at once some level <laughs> <laughs> thank you <laughs> Nice. So what, what sessions did you attend just now? There was just a set of sessions which came out. Oh, I'm coming from a concurrency session. Okay. Anything Talking about lambdas and futures, completable futures. Any, any good takeaways from that session? Oh, sure, absolutely. Uh, um, everything asynchronous is going to be uh, dominating short term. Right. And um, there are better options right now with Java 8 than they were before. So we're in better shape. Better. Yeah. Not well, the best we could be, but better. Yeah. You know, most people say that Scala and some other, uh, some other languages for JVM are going a step ahead, but the distance has reduced so far. Okay. Any, any wish list for Java 9? Well, my personal wish list is modularity. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> number one priority. Mark, Mark's in your corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's absolutely number one. Because uh, I still see a lot of uh, DevOps and sysadmins yep. that they don't really want to use Java because they still it's say it's too heavy. Heavyweight, yeah. large. Um, especially in virtualized environments, I think that matters more because you're trying to spin up lots of instances. There are some other approaches that I think are quite interesting, like uh, OSV, which uh, basically... Um, is a, able to reduce the number of layers of abstraction from the bare metal to the hypervisor, the hypervisor to the operating system, the operating system to the JVM. Mm -hmm. And they are trying to reduce that amount of abstraction. It is not always needed that in a pile. Okay, but they're right. probably losing some isolation in the process. Yeah, well, there's just, it's a single process uh, operating system. Yeah. So that's threading, but not uh, processes. And so there's no um, uh, context switching. Okay. It's everything ru running kernel space. Well, it's, it's quite efficient, and it's very targeted to, for, for Java programs. Have uh, you given a try on any of your No, I su applications suggested or? a session here to, oh. to give it a try so. to download it and run it. And uh, <laughs> maybe I, 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 remember that. I remember that. You proposed trying OSV. Yeah. Is that it, OSV? Yeah, OSV. Yeah. OSV. Cool. That would be a good session. 
And what, what else are you looking forward to for the rest of the unconference? Well, as being a probably your own session. <laughs> yeah. Well, n <laughs> of course, I said yes to some sessions about the topics I'm interested into. Yeah. Uh, but being, uh, as they call, the database guy or the relational guy or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm also coming here to um, to get. Yeah. No, I, I feel your pain, man. I, I've been the client guy for many, many years, <laughs> taking the arrows. So all right, all right. You got to stick with your guns, stick with your principles. Absolutely, absolutely, and no problem about it. <laughs> Things that um, people say that, for example, many uh, relational databases are slow. Things that uh, when you take a NoSQL database and make it durable, it's way slower than relational databases. So it all matters about which use case are you talking about too. And what I see is that most NoSQL yeah, so databases when you say are. Durable, what do you mean by that? Like having like having a strong warranty that no no just having a strong warranty that your information is going to be there yeah. in the event of a crash or whatever. Okay, happens. so consistency on disk. Yes, consistency on disk, which is yeah. basically durability. And uh, most, if not all, of the NoSQL databases are not durable. All right, so I think on a future day of the conference, we should have the NoSQL fat data bake-off. <laughs> 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 we can get a couple guys here and just kind of hash it out. And oh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Hopefully we'll survive unscathed. You want to heckle here, Kirk? Yeah, I'm going to heckle because I, I have to say <laughs> that um, there is a wide range of, um, shall we say, um, quality differences between the NoSQL implementations, but to say that all NoSQL impl implementations are slower than relational databases, uh, or when you add durability, I think is ignoring uh, some of the uh, nice advancements that have been made in terms of making, uh, uh, making these guys uh, durable using techniques that uh, relational databases unfortunately can't take advantage of. And, it, and I think the other, the other interesting thing with um, uh, you know, with the relational database object uh, mismatch that the NoSQL databases look after is just, you know, it's, it's just the amount of code that you have to use to maintain, uh, you know, object relational mappings and, and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and, you know, how to reconstruct things and stuff like that. So, you know, we can have a, we're, I think, okay. in session, so we have another member have a for nice our jam debate session. About, Kirk, yeah, Kirk's in about the debate. I think we know which side he's on. <laughs> no, that, yeah, that's so absolutely. I'm going to be on this side of the debate, and you know, you're going to be standing alone again. So. No, that's absolutely <laughs> real, real interesting, because it's, it's absolutely true that NoSQL databases have their specific use cases. The thing is that most people use them for broader use cases than they are originally designed for. And it's of course true that there's some performance difference between the different NoSQL implementations that's hard to generalize. What I'm trying to say is that most of these developments are quite new. And they are trying uh, to, they're designed for some use case, and after that, they are trying to expand that use case to more general use cases. And they are mm -hmm. finding out that when they want to go be that general and implement some features that are already available in the relational databases, they're struggling to make them uh, as performing as they are in the relational database because there's, there's been years and years of development in the, those relational databases. Yeah, so well, I, I think if you're talking about a use case which specifically stresses what relational databases are good for, then that might be the case. Um, I think Kirk's point is that most of the use cases he sees for fat data are things where you can get small advantages by um, taking advantage of um, things which you don't need that, you know, foreign keys or things you don't need that relational databases force upon you. Yeah, well, for example, the one of the sessions I'm proposing, it's about running NoSQL on SQL. Yeah. And it turns out to be uh, a solution we are working on our company. It's going to be open source as a product later on this year. Cool. And uh, it's basically a way of mapping uh, document-oriented loads mm -hmm. to uh, relational data stores. Okay. But you found a, a way where you're not kind of um, performance strapped down by the relationships? Exactly. On the, the on the contrary. We are uh, getting huge performance improvements 
of the same data on NoSQL databases. You know, I know a performance tuning expert who might be interested to look I'm over your numbers. Sure, <laughs> I'm sure he will join the session. I hope so. <laughs> I really hope so. Things that one of the, the uh, but I consider a fallacy of NoSQL proposals is that they talk that they are schemaless. However, all right, all right, all right. so we're going to save this for the discussion of SQL versus NoSQL, which all right. we'll have later on. All right. I think this will be a great debate, and then we can get into the details of schema and your NoSQL on SQL. I'll, I'll, gi I'll give you a win on the schema one, because you know schema migration has always been a killing, a killer feature. Yeah. 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 yeah, that that is. So so yeah, there you win, you know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. One, but, but the one, rest one, of the points we'll, we'll one get there. Point of our <laughs> <laughs> by Kirk I did room. What are you up to? 15, 20, 20 points now, Kirk. What's that? The, the How many? What's your scoreboard? He has one. How many do you? <laughs> oh, um, oh, it's hard. I to don't, I don't think him. I have any yet because I'm just letting him. Uh, yeah. We, you know, you, it's basically you let him retreat so you can encapsulate and then you kill, right? <laughs> <So>. <laughs> nice. All right. So thanks very much, Avara. Yeah, thank and you. And enjoy the rest of the sessions today. Sure. Thank you. <laughs>